everyone welcome to my channel and um, oh my gosh I feel so basic saying that but this is going to be a book review channel and if you are coming across this video and you are interested in reading and also hearing a little bit about my take on some of my favorite books that I've read over this past year um, please stay put um, let's get started the first book that I wanted to talk about is Severance by Ling Ma so this book takes place, I think, around like 50 years in the future, give or take, because uh, she uses a lot of cultural references, Twitter, Instagram, social media. So I don't think that it is too far ahead in our future. Um, and it's really interesting because Ling Ma herself is Chinese American and she's talking about this like mass pandemic that started in a small city of China, which is, you know, very, like, it's almost like a prognostication of what's happening right now. The pandemic is actually a bit more fantast fantastical than the one that we're dealing with in 2020. So people who actually come under this sickness, they go through this zombie-like state where they no longer can process or think and um, are just basically trapped in the last active state that they were in. And so the narrator herself, her name is Candace Wu, and she, among with eight people, are the only ones alive, basically, when this book takes place. And the final setting they find themselves in is this abandoned mall. And I just think that is so interesting because when we think of a mall, right, we think about shopping and, I mean, abstractly, it's capitalism in excess. There are so many things in mass display. And so when in this imagined apocalypse where there are no more hierarchies, no more rules, and no more structures, all of this excess is given to you for free. And that is exactly where we find these characters. And I actually wanted to share a excerpt of when these characters first stumble upon the mall and what their observations are. Visualize what's inside. Visualize opening the door and walking in, the sound of your footsteps clattering across tile or muffled by thick carpeting. Ghost from room to room, from store to store. You know what's here. You've been here before. If not this exact place, then variations of it. The hours of roaming around waiting for your mother to finish try trying on cardigan twin sets at Talbot's. The chemical smell of Sephora, with its walls of perfumes and colognes, arranged with tester bottles and paper strips. The kiosks selling cell phone covers or beauty products made from Dead Sea sourced mud. The orange Julius and the Auntie Anne's next to each other. The feeling of walking into a mall before you've spent any money. The sense of promise that always diminishes gradually as you go into the same stores looking at the same merchandise. I think it's very telling and very interesting because Billie Eilish just came out with the song called Therefore I Am and I'll insert some snapshots of her music video and please listen to this song because it's so freaking amazing. Anyway, these stills of her just like going across and like almost in like a rebellious state in these aban in this precisely abandoned mall, it's just like a mirror image of this description in the novel by Ling Ma, and I think it's just so beautiful but jarring at the same time. The next book I wanted to talk about is Pangs of Love by David Wong Lui, and this is a collection of 11 short stories. I'm going to talk about briefly just two of them. So the first one is Bottles of Beaujolais. I had to look up how to pronounce Beaujolais. It's about this man who's a waiter. He is of Asian, Asian American descent. And then this white woman who goes in to dine at the restaurant that he works at. In this Asian restaurant, it's a Japanese sushi restaurant. So in the very middle of it is a live fish tank with an otter, all right, a live otter in the middle as like a theatrical specter. It's the juxtaposition of the live animal that's made into the food that you eat. 
and it's just very alarming to see that we as humans we love to consume but consumption is actually sometimes very literal we consume live beings we consume life itself there's one um epiphany in the book where i'm just like a restaurant is actually just a um, performative feeding area but at the very end the waiter himself becomes infatuated with the white woman and so he goes into the back while he's preparing the sushi and wants to give a part of himself to her so literally he starts like slicing the you know the meat of the fish but then purposely starts slicing his fingers into the sushi i it was so graphic the last book that i'm going to want to talk about today is one that i'm still reading it's titled leave the world behind and the author is ruman alam this is also very like dystopian i think it's just the trend that i've been gravitating towards for this year. So this book is, it's a family who is middle class. They decide to take a break from normal work life. And um, the two parents with their two kids, they travel to an Airbnb for a weekend to escape. And shit goes down. So there's a storm. Um, I'm like, I would say a quarter of the way through the book. Um, so I don't want to give away too many, but these two strangers knock on the door in the middle of the night, and they are a black couple, um, and so it's kind of like this, like, thought experiment of, uh, race, classism, and impending doom as the world becomes more and more unclear when the novel proceeds. So that's all I know, um... I just love the descriptions. It's, it's almost like, you know, it's, it was just published actually um, last month. So a lot of cultural references again, um, which I always adore. Uh, yeah, so much if you made it this far into my first video in a very long time. And please like, even dislike, subscribe, comment below if you have any other book recommendations that you think I would enjoy or that you've read throughout this pandemic era that we're in. And um, thank you so much for watching.